like Richard clapped on time. I was slightly behind. It's fine. We were both pretty close, to say it's the okay. least. Yeah. I mean, the International um, Day of Epidemic Preparedness is usually, pretty, diff- is usually well. pretty difficult. <laughs> it's a hard day for me every year. <laughs> I wish I wish today was the International Day of um, uh, Podcast Preparedness. <laughs> I uh, that's 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 the level of effort you're getting tonight. I'm very tired. Oh. <laughs> we probably shouldn't put that in the show. It won't no, be you sh- that you day. When oh, it's you're released. right. You're right. But I didn't say the date, so they'll have to look it up themselves. That's your little <laughs> treasure hunt. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy that, I guess. Speaking hey. of people that we enjoy. Oh, well, we have to welcome well, people to the We haven't even introduced first. the show <laughs> yet. We have to welcome people to our show first. Yes. But we gotta <laughs> tell them what the show is first. Um this is This is a show? Stick Shift Incorporated. Hey everybody. Not, not another teen podcast. It's microphones and morons <laughs> December. It's the last morons of 2021. Thank wow. God. I can't wait for next year to be uh microphones and um well learned people. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I don't, wait, are we no, giving that, that doesn't show? sound right oh, at all? Yeah. Wait, Other people not, are gonna be on the show. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna be on it, but we'll host it. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Maybe this... maybe that's an idea for like way down the line we can have like some kind of a like uh actual play podcaster like competition show. Mm. Then we can call it Microphones and Mentors. Mm. Oh. <laughs> and we'll get all the big names. Well. Mm. Yeah. Is, is Ben Stein still alive? Ben Stein. I, think, yeah, I think Ben Stein is still alive. Yeah, we could get Ben Stein. That'd be good. Ben Stein. But anyways, 2021 <laughs> was a big year. It was a very big year for us. <laughs> for for us. Uh, mm. Definitely a lot bigger than 2020. Mm. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. But 2020, 2020 was an amazing year for, for the podcast. It was an amazing year over. It wasn't an amazing year overall for the world. Um, mm-hmm. Neither has been 2021. Um, hope everybody is taking care of themselves and the people around them. Um, but we've got a lot more listeners. We got a lot of people talking about the show, talking mm-hmm. to us about the show. Um, Discord's always popping uh, when new episodes come out. Uh, yeah. We've got 12 patron shout outs this month at the, wow. at the end of the year. Yeah, I can't even count that high. I can't count that high. <laughs> that's a lot of letters and spaces and i mean just a, just a lot of big things happening uh that happened all year and and big things that are that are coming up in in the yeah. in the, the coming up months so. i heard i haven't confirmed myself but i heard that they put lime back in skittles instead of green apple shut the front door <laughs> <laughs> and so if that's true, I am so excited. Like like the next time I'm at the store, I am looking for the lime. Because anyone who thought it's green apple was better is not. wrong. I apologize. <laughs> but you're wrong. You're so wrong. But because but because y'all are our, our twelve patrons that we get to shout out at the at the end of the year here, uh we we, we thank you and love you so much that I'm gonna have Max mispronounce your names. <laughs> um that's what you all came here for right year. yes uh well let's let's see how accurate i get it i get the feeling i'm gonna screw up one for sure but you know let's 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 double down so uh special shout out to uh this month's patrons uh sarah c uh patrick t arsenal used gearhead zero one uh nicholas oh boy here we go um Hold on. This is on a bad Rodriguez. screen. Rodriguez. No, 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 no. This is on a bad screen, and you put the screen in front of me. Okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nicholas uh, Med- Medicus? M- M- Medakis? Nicholas Medakis. I'm going with that. Tell me if I'm wrong. I probably am. I think I think I think he changed his name just so you could. I believe he did. No, no. Just so I could screw it up. It was Who? Nick. It was Nick. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It just it was just Nick before. Mm-hmm. There you go. Commentary while while thanking people. Oh, it's the best. Keep it's going. Best. Keep going. Uh, yes. Adeline Buchanan. 
uh, Corey Foch, Richard Varela, James Ingram, Nicholas Rodriguez, Neri Kwok, Garrett, and Sean O'Dell. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I messed up like two yes, of those. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> gar- it's Garrett. It's gar- oh, no. like Garrett, like what you did? <laughs> no, that's Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett's cool. He's like Sting. He doesn't need a last name. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking like Garrett, like Garrett from Thief. Because now he's talking cool. like Garrett the patron right there on the oh, list that you just oh. read. He could be a thief. We don't know. He could be lurking in the shadows right now. You'd have no idea. Wait, he's patronizing us with, you know, dirty money? It's laundering, okay? It's, it's called laundering. We're giving it back to him? Yes. <laughs> in, in audio content. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's laundering. Look, 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 a look, much more spendable it's, format, it's, I'm sure. It's all legal, all right? I, I, I have, Someone's I have... selling our podcast? <laughs> Welcome to Morons, everybody. <laughs> In case you didn't know what this was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I try to be funny on the internet, and for some reason, people give us um, their time and attention. And for that, I thank you. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. All right. What happened this month, guys? Nothing. Okay, cool. And have a great day, everybody. See you guys. <laughs> we started uh, with episode 152. Mm-hmm. Every, all of y'all got level 11. Yes. And we did. Yeah. It was and what boring an important for level. Julian. I um, leveled up with basic stuff. Yes, that's what I wrote. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so you didn't have anything interesting. I, I didn't probably, have anything I, to write. I think I probably got a spell slot, and that was it. Yeah. That's it. Um, and uh, and then Alistair, all, Alistair got a spell slot, which was impressive because mm-hmm. it was mm-hmm. his third, because uh, he's yes. a big boy now. And so, <laughs> yeah, and, and then he also got this level six spell slot thing with mental prison in it uh, that he explained. Mm-hmm. Um, and then and maybe the most OP thing of all, you Eldritch another... Blast gets a third hit. I was about to say, yeah. oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. A third hit or more knockback? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 30 feet. Oh, mm-hmm. God, that's ridiculous. 30 feet of knocking back everything in the universe. Mm-hmm. If, if all three hit, yeah. yeah. If all three I, hit, yep. I, f- I feel like if Alistair planets. hits something that won't knock back, <laughs> yeah, then yeah, the you, actual if, universe should knock back instead. The if other you, way if you level up to a point and then just Eldridge bla- blast the, the Earth, can you like knock it off his access and cause horrible natural disasters? I don't know. Maybe maybe we just turn the uh, the planet into a like a, a sort of a spaceship. Mm. Maybe maybe the planets are immune to knockback. Mm. <laughs> maybe mm. I don't know. It's, it's the only thing. It's the only thing in the game that's immune to knockback. Knock the planet. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is planets. God. Oh like, man! If we, he's, wait, he's wait till I start hitting those suns and stuff. He's yeah. missed and he hasn't ripped the planet apart. It's true. So. That's, well, that's true. Let's hope we don't fight Ego the Living Planet because you will have a chance, Alistair. <laughs> oh no! I still hit him. He just doesn't no get knocked have back. A yeah. Chance against <laughs> Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, and Victor. Uh, Victor. Uh, uh, got uh, consume likeness so he can do perfect transformations and a big insight boost on, or mm-hmm. not insight boost, but a bunch of ability boosts. Um. Uh, yeah, with with your necrophage stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, also his wraps enveloped his entire body while mm-hmm. he was sleeping. He, he is now a, a mummy. Foreshadowing. I've been trying to do that for two seasons. Well, I didn't um, know. <laughs> Would you want wraps to cover your face? Mm, I mean, it cold. does sound pretty horrible. I want to be like Venom. I don't know, yeah. but I do like a nice like hot towel on my face. Like, that's, I that's do nice. like that as well. Well, Adam wasn't making a hot towel envelop Victor. What if, <laughs> that? What if the just, flesh just is hot, like warm, though? What if it's like wraps? a hot day? It's going to be warm. <laughs> it's been described as a horribly uncomfortable and creeping on his skin. That's well, why I mean, been... it probably smells like uh, like bacon or something, well, right? it could be a warm uncomfortableness. I mean, it smells like Victor. Oh. <laughs> like Victor <Yeah>. Bacon? <laughs> Victor Bacon. I don't like the concept of Victor Bacon. Please stop. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Yeah, so that happened. And then Julian Mm -hmm. was studying. Off camera. I just read off camera. 
<laughs> There's no camera, Stephen. Where did I write off camera? I don't Literally the anywhere. first sentence. Oh, yeah. I said everybody got back to the DDA off camera. That's what happened. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> off camera. Yeah. Yeah. That's what off happened. Camera. We didn't see that part. It was oh, off camera. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we left y'all with that cliffhanger yeah. of the Juliet over Larry's corpse. It, it happened uh, backstage, okay? After Star she ate him a little stuff bit. Stuff happened. Star yeah. Wars, if you'll DVD. ever actually find out what happened. No, um, never. But, um, you know, stuff did happen. You just don't know what it is. I, mm. I think Adam and I are the only ones that know what, what happened. So, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, how many people care? No one. There uh, Alistair I, well, I mean, there were all those big Larry fans. You oh know. yeah, those those Larry fans, you know. <laughs> you know, Shut people bought T-shirts with Larry on them. They don't even know what he looks like. It just Shut says the word Larry. Shout Larry out. is not Manrose. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Shout out in the comments, all you Larry fans. <laughs> yeah, Larry fans represent. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Deb right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Julian was studying stuff about the tablet fragment that he found, and and uh, and then he went to a fugue state, and there's mm. another little mini cliffhanger for that episode because you don't know what's mm. happening. Mm. Um, and then Alistair visited Evangeline uh, just in time to see Shadow take over the cat robot, as everyone except Max knew was going to happen. You mean mm. Julia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Damn it, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone except Max and Julie <laughs> Julia. knew it was going to happen. Um, yeah, and so, so left y'all in like weird cliffhangers with y'all not not really knowing what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we travel back in time to Alistair in the library before Julian went into his fugue state. Yeah, and they have mm -hmm. a little chat, a little chit chat. Little talky talky. We did. Oh, Alice. Alistair gets a big info dump about all the elder gods fighting about the source and stuff. I don't know. Ask Adam. Verbatim. I don't know. Adam went into great detail, and I remember while he was doing it, I was spacing out just a little bit. <laughs> this is not Victor's job to know this information. He's giving it to Alistair. And part of the problem I have is that we're doing all the role play, and I have all the information, but I'm not supposed to, so it's easier just to ignore it. Um, and so Adam mm. just kept talking and talking about the source and the Elder Gods, and I really genuinely don't have any idea what was going on. I still don't, even after re-listening to it. So <laughs> see, if you want to enlighten secret? people about what you said and give a short version. Mm -hmm. I... You know, I, I because you wrote that, I don't remember. But, but see, um, I can I, I, I can appreciate your whole like not paying attention thing because to be fair, like in order to stay as aloof as I can with Alistair, I just don't pay attention to anything anyone says. Yep, mm. I notice. Uh, so what did you say? You'll, oh. you'll be happy to know. But yeah, I think I think it had to do with uh, like the gods are fighting each other, mm -hmm. and some of them are allying with each other, mm -hmm. and um. They're trying to get to the source. They're trying to get the power from the source of all the multiverse, uh, the mm -hmm. creator of all the mm -hmm. multiverses, and, and basically all that kind of stuff. It about to be Highlander up in here. Gods yeah. be Godden right now. What we need is 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 some fans that like become encyclopedia knowledge people about the show, so that a they can write a wiki I and we don't have to make our wiki. information anymore. I can't wait for the for the microphone and monsters lore expert. Yes, <laughs> right. Yes. right? Yeah. If that's which you, is definitely not us. No, yeah. I can't no, we're gonna have a map like on. this. We're gonna have a map like the Saint Elsewhere multiverse. Yes, like at some point. I need like, like there's so many shows that are already. That. Crossed over. Find well, a well, I mean, we're, we're well, technically we already Richard in Meltzer it. Richard on the show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because, like, like I, I like the whole St. Elsewhere, like, multiverse. Uh, well, I guess it's not even really a theory. It's, it's like it, the, it the reveal, like really, at the end of the uh, show, whole show. Yeah, um, the problem is you can't, the, like, that's the only time it, it it's good. Like, every other time, you know, <laughs> uh, every other time where it's like, oh, it was just a dream. Like, you have to do it was just a dream really well for it to work. Like, it was yeah. all a dream. I didn't even watch either show, but I know, like, the end of the show, New Heart, like, the last episode, you know, Bobby. Well, yeah, we've talked about up. that before. I don't remember when, but did we did. We? I don't know. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> I don't know if it was on recording, but I know we talked about it. All the microphones and morons lore experts. Mm-hmm. 
uh, let us know if we've already discussed this. <laughs> hope, if hope, we, just know. in case we haven't, he wakes up at the end of his second sitcom <laughs> and he's in the bed with his wife from the first sitcom. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and and is like, I just had the weirdest dream, you know, wife from first sitcom. Wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that was definitely her name, I'm sure. Of it. <laughs> wife McSpouse. Oh. <laughs> Bob well, McSpouse was, yeah. yeah, McSpouse was her maiden name. Yeah, McSpouse was her maiden name. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, so man. Sarah's out sounds an alarm and mm-hmm. and 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 get and tells Alistair and Victor to get to the seal room immediately. Mm-hmm. And um and, and and while they're doing that, Alistair notices that Victor totally looks like regular human, and Victor didn't even know, mm-hmm. and he doesn't know why. <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably has something to do with the raps thing. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's all <laughs> um, it's under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they get there, and Julian is just tearing Evangeline's machines in the mm-hmm. steel room apart. And Party rock Shadow the house is, night. is is yelling <laughs> at him. <laughs> it's like stop, stop that! Don't. <laughs> You're gonna get into him. a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then and then then he then he snaps out of it, and he's like, I don't know what I was doing. Um, Pocket some uh, pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's 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 <laughs> confused. Important. He sees a shadow robot, and and mm-hmm. finally gets it. I got it, guys. Hey, guys, it only took <laughs> twenty plus episodes, but I got there. Yeah. Can you pick up a robot that's a cat for me? Yeah, sure. You know, I <laughs> no got reason. my friend who's a cat that's made out of technology and stuck mm-hmm. in the dreamlands. I miss him. And it would be nice to have a robot cat around. Mm. Now, while what was I experiment Evangeline going to do? Portal with the... technology. <laughs> was was Evangeline going to put a version of uh, Alistair into the wine bottle? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> As I said in the show, no, she was more concerned about taking things out of the wine bottle. <laughs> she oh. wanted to remove things from the wine bottle. Yes. It never gets old. <laughs> um, and then, that wine bottle's still at the bottom of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Oh, we could still get it somehow. You don't know. We still got. I mean, like in theory, we could still left. go back to that mm. particular mm. universe. Yeah, could, it's there. We got some. It's we not got some dead random, anymore. We got some random side quests. We got to knock out. We could probably it's, do that. It's probably the most <laughs> like, definitively there item that we're aware of in the entire campaign that we don't like yeah. have or hasn't been destroyed. It's like mm-hmm. just the one random thing we know is that that wine bottle is at the bottom of the floor or the ocean floor in the city yeah. because you screwed up and didn't get it. Like that's so and Zoom and Dreamlands reminder. cats are rebuilding the world. So yeah. so I like I like that it would make it kind of like a Skyrim or something. When you like go back and do some side quest like way after you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna go back and get the wine bottle and deliver it to Evangeline. <laughs> Thank you. After Here's the city was flooded. <laughs> and that's the whole quest. <laughs> Here's the here's the fifty gold I would have given you if you gave it to me on time. <laughs> <laughs> now that it doesn't even matter because she has access hearts. to wine anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. But you always then, wonder. With the stout hearts been. around, you'll never be in want. Hmm. Speaking of which. Um, later yeah later on uh yeah. but for now uh, uh v- victor connected the dots yes victor uh victor you know just before it was going to be revealed anyway figured out <laughs> figured out the star oh, vampire wait. clues uh mm. <laughs> yes because i really wanted to yeah and, and, i was just like i know adam's about to reveal this i'm gonna make victor figure it out and i was i was <laughs> outed i was outed as a, a sussy uh, star vampire and i was very uncomfortable yes did not yes. like people knowing that i uh crave blood at all hours of the day mm-hmm. i think Although sarah was of... even like giving like asking you a lot of questions about it and being like oh well i guess it, we'll see what happens yeah sure i mean it's fine <laughs> i'll probably kill him if he starts you know drinking the stout hearts <laughs> and he was also just randomly switching to a demon language or something really yeah. really and yeah really yeah, yeah. So that's fun mm-hmm. um mm. i had to keep through this entire thing i had to keep telling max that you don't have any control over that yeah 
I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Mandrose but, did. Mm-hmm. But it turns out in his funny trance, Julian actually fixed the machines, and now now the portal is stable and locked into coordinates in the dreamlands. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. good job, Julian. Yeah, rigged. I, it was rigged. Uh-huh. <laughs> And so Sarah says, looks like you're going there soon. You know, she didn't really explain why. And then um, nope. And then uh, <laughs> Victor sort of walks away with Julian, you know, holding his hand, telling him it'll be okay while he, and then he goes and gets him some blood to eat <laughs> from was, the stout arts. I was thirsty. <laughs> I need like an ecto cooler, but blood. <laughs> <laughs> A plasma cooler. I don't know. For all of the people who don't know what Ecto Cooler is, um, oh god, that's it, right, I'm it old. came back Shit, recently. Old. Yes, uh, <laughs> it came it was, back recently though. Yeah, did it? It came back How for recently. The, it came back for the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. Yes, I don't remember that happening. Mm. Um, yep, most people that. don't remember that movie actually. Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> I, I saw the newer one. It was all right. It was pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah. Ecto Cooler was a, a flavor of high C that was related mm-hmm. to Ghostbusters. It had slime uh, back on in the it. Day. it was when cool. we were children. And it was green. It was citrusy. It was very good. It's like a legend <laughs> that everyone remembers. I used to drink it all the time. There yes. were websites about it when mm-hmm. websites were like, you know, things people could make themselves. Cult classic. I saw yeah. Ghostbusters 2 in a drive in. <laughs> that would wow. be interesting. I saw it on VHS. I had high C Ecto Cooler. Mm. <laughs> I think I saw it my parents. I had um I had I, I think I had the Ectomobile from the cartoon, like all the action nice. figures. Um that's I something I never watched. I never watched my, the cartoon. The cartoon's actually really never? good. Never. Yeah, the cartoons were good. It's it, it it's really good. Even uh it, it 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 got a tiny bit weaker at the end when it was like Slimer and the real Ghostbusters, and mm. they and they switched from Lorenzo Music doing Peter Venkman's voice to Dave Coulier. Those those seasons weren't as good, um, but when they sort of did a little mini rebootish thing with Extreme Ghostbusters in the late Extreme 90s, Ghostbusters was good. it was it was good <laughs> it was good. Okay. Um, so I would highly recommend you check it out. I might put that uh, on the list. Yep. It's Although if you're in for interesting reading, thing. you should uh, look up the reason why it's called the real Ghostbusters, because there's some interesting stuff I'm, behind that. I'm guessing that. there was some copyright chicanery that went on with that. Indeed, maybe yeah, it was a terrible cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Not the real Ghostbusters. That was a good cartoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the the one that's not the, the Ghostbusters. Filmation everybody knows it was Ghostbusters. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It played on something, maybe Boomerang yeah. for a while there. I don't. Yeah. Remember. Or the played the... in my nightmares. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it played in my. You know what? We need to help. Get ghosts or whatever they did. We need a monkey. We need a gorilla. Hey man, there was a gorilla <laughs> that helped people in there, like, and it wasn't. I don't even I mean, think obviously. it was like a Magilla gorilla mm. type thing. It was maybe just that, a gorilla. <laughs> maybe that was just a marketing device to sell more gorilla munch. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's I don't either. Um, I remember. But munch we need from to continue. E. Oh God, we're out of those tangents again. Help. <laughs> yeah. back. I just mentioned Chuck E. Cheese. We've gotten pretty far away. <laughs> um, where were we? What were we talking about? Sarah telepathically tells Alistair and Victor to watch Julian. Just let him do whatever he might do if he goes. God, I should have taken that for granted. Just let him do it. Yep. Oh. Which yeah. Alistair took his carte blanche to basically do nothing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, Victor, Your Victor heard thing. watch watch Julian, and he didn't hear. Just let him do whatever he wants. Like he, didn't, Victor didn't hear that part. <laughs> yeah. Why did I not go? He was just concerned. That. I'm so upset. Because you I, didn't have you did, complete though, control. Kinda. I didn't really. God. No, no. Crazy me should have done some way cooler stuff. So while you were you supposed to be though. napping, yeah. Victor tested out his raps uh, and, 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 and did some experimentations and stuff to figure out what, what he could do with transformations and mm-hmm. honing fighty. the style. Yes, yes, his style. Style um, go up. And Victor noticed that Julian was making lots of noise in his room and then he was like, hey, Alistair, get out here just in case something's going to happen. And Alistair was like, fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Julian yeah, that sounds was about right. 
cobbling together a, a w- weird device on mm-hmm. you know, on the floor, surrounded by his torn up yeah. journal pages. Mm-hmm. Um, device oh. with a big red button on it, or mm-hmm. red flashing light, or something. There was oh. a red piece. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> Indeed, uh, and then Julian. Um, oh, here it comes. Uh, chased his very thin wife around the house with an axe. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. No. <laughs> there was a weird scene with a dude and then a furry costume. It's, it gets very confusing. <laughs> Such a good movie. That's anyway, movie. Yeah. The Shining. Watch mm-hmm. it. Watch um, The Shining. The Shining's good. Uh, I, I come up with the brilliant idea. I mean, just uh, hands down, one of the best ideas I've ever had is I take the uh, strange device and, guys, let's go activate it in Dreamlands. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I just built this, and I don't know how or why. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the place I hate the most and turn it on. Mm-hmm. Well, I you am, pretended to know what it did the entire time. I am thinking <laughs> rationally. I don't, I don't know. It wasn't very convincing. It wasn't very convincing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> No, it was not convincing. You know, um, sure, I, I totally to know what me. this is. Buzz <laughs> <laughs> button, dude. Press red, shiny, candy-like button. Yes. <laughs> so Victor was nervous about that, and Alistair remained <laughs> uh, reluctant and apathetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty it accurate. Remained, yeah. remained is good. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. just, that's just his general resting state. Mm-hmm. He started that, and he started with that attitude in episode one, <laughs> and it has persisted. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm very dedicated to the role. Nitz Van had an appearance. Yeah, Nitz mm-hmm. was Nitz Van was there. It was all nice. up. No explanation uh, why. No, got none. The, got the mech. It is full of bullet holes. Mm-hmm. Hope oh, they're okay. <laughs> There's I mean, no bullet, bullet holes in it. it. You know. Did did you guys fix the bullet holes from the well, first time? There mm. would have been some blood oh, on the door that was that was caved in. Yeah, mm. was there, there would have been viscera, some blood though? Mm. Knowing yeah. Adam, there was probably maybe. Iker. Mm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> Iker. Maybe some per, maybe some proboscis. Maybe a little proboscis. There's definitely some scratches, <laughs> no, like some metal hands. on metal. <laughs> um, that's your hands. There's definitely some blood. Maybe some brain matter. Mm. Um. Yeah. Little little bits of shrapnel in the back of it. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. More yeah. on that later. <laughs> so we get to the seal room. Uh, Sarah and Tanasha had just gotten there. Oh, God, Sarah went Tanasha's to go... back. Yeah, Sarah went to go get Tanasha <laughs> because we mentioned the Dreamlands and Tanasha's like a super expert on them or something. <laughs> um, and then they said, here's the plan. Ow, you know, Ju- Julian was like, we're totally going to go in here and turn on my machine I just built that I don't know what it does. It's and- going to work. <laughs> I guarantee it's going to work. And Sarah was like, okay, sure, do that. And Tanasha's like, whatever. And then and they, whatever. they all go in. Um, and uh, and uh, they they test it out. Alistair jumps moon to moon because he's bored. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and then when he turns the machine on, it... It connects to Alistair, and it says, and it makes Alistair feel like, "Ooh, that planet feels real good to go <laughs> There's to." There's a planet mm-hmm. over there that I can't see, but I know it's there. That exactly, guy? that little guy. <laughs> and it also connects the the other two guys to him, but it doesn't do Tanasha because that wasn't built into the machine. Uh, and then we decide to go because if we didn't. I don't know what, like Adam would have forced us to go somehow I anyway. I feel like, <laughs> so, like, oh, well, that's cool. Okay, now that we know what it does, like, I'm going back to sleep. Bye. <laughs> I feel like Sarah was having, like, an off day. Maybe Sarah was, like, hungover or something. It was just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Just leave. I just, yeah, yeah, that's where you got to go. On. I probably can replace these guys if they yeah. die. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's like, a, it's like a mom shooing kids out the door to go play yeah. with their friends in the park. Yeah, yeah. Sarah was like, dude, I already got a robot version of Alistair. I'm a third of the way there if these guys all die <laughs> oh god <laughs> all i gotta do is find some haster wraps i can get any sort of lame lonely victor to go along with this there's no problem <laughs> but alistair became dreamlands maps mm-hmm. <laughs> i just want to see dreamlands the ad maps. in the uh in the um and in, in the wanted uh must must be okay with things about haster uh, raps not included 
<laughs> I wouldn't say that that the Victor's okay with Haster. He doesn't. The Victor really has not enjoyed his encounters with with He's extensions literally of Haster. attached to your body. No, the, <laughs> the part of Haster that rejected Haster is part of Victor's body. They're the perfect match. But it, Victor it, has <laughs> never once considered joining or doing but, anything but, good for Haster. But but it was a part of Haster at one point. Right. So it's still from Haster. Well, yeah, but it wasn't like a present. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Adam didn't with... say anything after you said that. <laughs> with with was, love from Haster. Like a, I don't think Haster would have given Victor a present that could help him foil his own plans. If it was a present, it was from someone else. I think it's. Long. I don't know. I I think I think Aster's just really shy, and so like mm. he's kind of playing hard to get, giving mm. you secret yeah. presents and stuff. No, Reverse no. psychology. It's it's mm. it's it's a gift from the person we know is also an elder god. Mm. Gimbal. Adam. Get, maybe. <laughs> maybe Aster <laughs> slash Adam is playing the long con here. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I space out when we start talking about this stuff. I, <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's not Victor's the, the, job to the, know. The, it's Victor's <laughs> job to look at someone and say, that's a bad guy. Yeah, as soon and as then, we start talking about it, the raps just kind of go up and just cover your ears like, oh, no, he can't hear this. It's fine. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Purge me your earmuffs. <laughs> So we turn the machine on and it and it sends us to warp and then we pass out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, since you you go to plaid, we've gone to go plaid. plaid. <laughs> yeah, and, we've and, gone to plaid. And then and then and then a map of um the eastern part of the world shows up and then we see a plane, uh, drawing red dots uh, across <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> I'm and sorry. Finally, Victor's fedora is. You, you kind of skipped a bunch there. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, I had to no, cut all no, that no. out so this this podcast doesn't no, get copyrighted. No, no, you missed the you missed the episode where we're in, where we're grumpy detectives in an office. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That was like the best episode where mm -hmm. where like all of that was a good like, episode. You forget like all of you have a who headache. You are except mm -hmm. who you are, and you have and, terrible and so, headaches. And 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 essentially, we just had clean slate, except we know what we can do and what we've got and who we are. And mm -hmm. so we're just like, yeah, get the coffee. Oh, man, I want this coffee. paperwork. Yeah, like, I we just, just want turned which y'all y'all did great, just like taking over on on that with the coffee and 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 everything. Oh, that was just my real feelings leaching out into yeah. into play space. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You need a like coffee. I said, mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I was disappointed in is that I had an actual headache and I took medicine before, and I could have gone mm -hmm. so Daniel Day, <laughs> Lewis, if 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 if, if you'd have just if not I'd taken the medication had a while we were playing. Art would have been even better. Art imitates life, man. Yeah. So so yeah, we 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 wake up in an office and we're detectives and we feel hungover or something. We don't know what. All of us do, and there's a knock on the door, and Janice Killetyler's there. Hey, uh, yep. I didn't even write his last name in the notes. You I just said no. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> was was because, with a name like Killetyler? Was there was there like a, a sitcom like applause as soon as he like walked through the door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't okay. know. That, like, that's that's new head that. canon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Was he really that popular of a character? I feel like he's like the cameo character that shows up and people are like, wait, was that guy on the show before? So, so more like more like uh, Newman, so to speak. Mm, okay, yeah. He's a new Janice is a perfect Newman. You're 100% right, Richard. <laughs> no, it's, Janice it's like Chilla Big Bang Tyler. Theory where they have the, the applause and everything. Like, it's, it's yeah. not real. And yeah. And every... I think I think they filmed that in front of a live studio audience. It's just there's no, also an applause so. sign and obvious joke breaks. Do I knock on the door thought, three times? No, I thought I thought they put. I didn't know they filmed that in a live in mm -hmm. front of a live audience. I feel audience. like it. It, it, it seems to me Big like Bang it, Theory. I didn't think I, they did. I, don't I, know. Feel, I think they I think I heard I that know. it was. I mean, um, I mean, obviously, I thought it was all laugh they, tracks. It, even 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 on shows where they have a studio audience they they pump they they, they fill the laugh track out anyway yeah so i mean it it could go either way now, it's hard yeah. to tell although I, I feel like it's less common practice nowadays mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah now, even, even pre-covid did i request that they pay upfront plus travel expenses no um, he he offered it damn no yeah i'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah 
Because if I did, you, man, you I'm, just, a, I'm a great negotiator for not being one. No, you were just like, yep, that's the <laughs> normal going rate. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And he was like, it's just like 50000 or however much it was. That Whipping out Fliff like a Sultan, just not even counting. Yeah. <laughs> you skipped over yeah, that. He's just like, here's a, here's a stack of cash. Take it. <laughs> and, meanwhile, and meanwhile, Adam's just like, this is a dream. You can have whatever you want. I've <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five billion gold. I don't care. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We don't know it's a dream yet, do we? Oh, no, no. We do know it's a dream because it cuts over to us unconscious. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. I, I said fourth wall break because obviously you can see the other three walls. Uh, <laughs> and in this dream, there's a made up money that y'all have never heard of before that's a paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what a stupid idea. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't go clink clink in my pocket, it's not real money. I love metal money, it's the best. But yeah, he's hiring us because he had a five person archaeology crew. Digging something up in magic eldritch Egypt just and disappeared. Um, it's, uh, it's it's Anibis. Anibis. That's, That's what Anibis. I said. Anibis. Anibis. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. Yeah, and we were, in, we were, we were <laughs> in guys, Cairo. guys, guys. I need this. Anibis yeah. was brought up in season one. By the yes, way, it was. I was didn't it? remember that. Yeah, K- Edwin Cairo. North. Yeah, that's right. Edwin North. Yeah, like that guy. We made up Cairo on the, the spot. Yeah, Cairo's good. <laughs> No, it wasn't well, part of Julian's backstory. It was part it of Edward right. North's yeah. backstory. You know, yes, but he was that delivering the monologue while Victor was unconscious. So I was oh, paying yeah, attention. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You see, you see how this works. And, and, I, and, I had to learn pretty quick to stop paying attention when I was supposed and, to know and, things. Uh, in a in a way, Edward North is part of Julian's backstory. So, yeah. tangentially speaking, but it happened it after kind of backstory, is, or mm. well, during or separate. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, but yeah. that is also the path that Julian would have been on. So it's kind of yeah. like a tangent to like Julian's backstory. Man, I could have, yeah. I could have gone to, I could have gone to, to Anibis way before you guys. I think yeah, I could've. was in the dream for real. at the time with Alistair when all that was going on. And anyway. a completely different Anibis I, on I think another we were. planet, and yeah. not in a dream. Like I was busy trying to figure out how to kill something <laughs> in Magic Dreamlands water. I. I <laughs> Or either that, or I was. It was just part where I was unconscious. I don't remember. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it was during the time um, that we were knocked out and in the dreamland. Does, yeah. does that mean I'm Belloc? Am I Belloc? <laughs> in this in this analogy, I don't know. Can I be Indiana Jones? Or, Is that or, what's or, happening? Or, or am I one of the am I one of the Nazi dudes? I don't know. No, Alistair, I'm, I'm the dude. Alistair's the little monkey that you mentioned. No, that, I, that I, would be, I would. We're doing this early, but I have to do it now. I'm I'm the dude who gets his hand burned by the medallion. That's what Julian would be. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, the the German guy. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I had to do that. We're back on track. <laughs> Are we? Are we? <laughs> Way to bring it back, I guess. We're about halfway through the episodes we need to talk about. We're about halfway through the episode. We're getting there, of morons. Uh, We're Captain pretty, pretty good. Yes, Captain yes, Gerbo, Captain was, Gerbo. Was, was was on charge of the ship because we kept asking him what people's names were, and he just he was just like whatever. It's people we've already met. It'll be no, fun. like I actually had all this these names. Like I had Janice planned. I had Gerbo planned for the boat. I just like in the moment for some reason I forgot, and then I was just like, oh yeah, the Gerbo. Oh okay, um, okay. Or, or Janice. Did Gerbo have a hat? I don't remember. The captain's hat. Yeah, sure. He would have had. It. Yeah, captains have hats. Good. <laughs> I just need. Or maybe he was like really. I don't maybe know. he was really he fancy. He had one of the hair. admiral's hats. So mm. I guess. I guess was the hair like longer? Like a, we could have had it like a little. Hair. Yeah, he would have had longer hair. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. a screen hair. Yeah. yeah, that way it could billow in the wind. It, while mm-hmm. he's had like a little bit yeah. of a goatee going on. Mm. Yeah, a little goatee, curly mustache, little green goatee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. it looked really suave. I like this picture. I like this picture. I'm just saying, yeah, to everything. Why not? Uh, uh, Alistair is not in the episode at all because hates water. Yes, he just hides. <laughs> yeah, he just hit the yeah, that's, that's about right. Half of the episode, he's right not next there. to Jenna Skillet Tyler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all got steamed hams. We did steamed yes, hams. Yes. Uh, uh, the, and the, oh, the outro <laughs> of of fixing the fixing the reason, engine. Everyone that was a good loved one. That yeah. outro. <laughs> I am glad I had fun. I just with heard it. it today. I hadn't listened. Yeah, to it, was, it, before. it was good. It was I, good. I may have consumed some alcohol whilst um, recording that. So, 
I what Ain't I'm getting is that. I need to drink more. They have plenty of rum on the boat. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant just Max in real life had a lot of alcohol. Oh, yes. I know, I know, uh, I know. <laughs> I need to drink more when I, I think I get <laughs> it's, really. It's good called method acting when yes. I'm doing my outros whilst drinking. So I think I might just do that now. <laughs> <laughs> all, of, all of my characters are constantly drunk. It's method acting, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that'd be a tough. That'd be a tough character to play, man. Because <laughs> you so have we... to play the character, but also do relatively good decision making. <laughs> that would be tough. Like, like, but you know what? Like, I don't I mean, do that anyway. Hmm. So maybe I should just yeah. have that be my thing. Your character, yeah. Your, I yeah, mean, your come on. Great have good decisions like making. shooting a lightning gun inside of a car. <laughs> Oh, um, no. I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes horrible decisions kind of work out. I said that with such conviction. I said what I said. <laughs> uh, maybe I need, maybe like, I do like the, the Sam Regal thing from Critical Role where he has like a giant flask, but it's full of water, but I'll just drink liquor instead. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Hopefully everyone will love it, and I will have brain <laughs> cells afterwards. But probably not. <laughs> um. So uh, so yeah, we get to Cairo. 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 Yep. <laughs> Are you sure? A row. Of yes. K's. K a y r o w. Cairo. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's how we spelled it in the episode. If not, yes. that's how it's spelled now. That's how it's spelled now. Y'all got it. Y'all got in a Jeep, a G A G E A P oh, Jeep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Driven by Driven by Chand Chandira. Yeah. Two, two, two arms. Two arms, Chandira. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. two arms. Mm -hmm. so that's the default amount of arms on a Chandira. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> that's how many arms they have when you don't fail to save them. Oh. That's, oh. Oh, snap. That's, oh. That's how many they come with out of the box. <laughs> It's a, it's a DLC. You have to download the arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for five dollars you can have two arms. Uh, and then for some reason we had a discussion about that Victor can read. I think it was just here are some documents, and Victor's like he's not going to read those because you guys are better. Did I say that Victor <laughs> couldn't read? I don't remember. Everyone kept <laughs> implying that Victor couldn't read. Can Victor read? Victor what? can read. What? I don't remember that being a thing. It happened in the episode because I made a note just now. Um, Victor can read, but the yeah. others are better at checking the documents the archaeologists left. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You I don't even know if that's accurate. This, this is the part. This is the part where 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 I was. I, I I didn't have as much time to write the summary, so there might be a tiny bit of error. I feel. I feel that Victor has a certain form of reading more so you would like instructional reading because that's the, the way cookbooks are done right victor victor can read just fine victor's not yeah, going victor, to read yeah. a tulsa book and get it there's yeah, the difference yeah. victor victor can read normal books he can't mm -hmm. read creepy eldritch horror books because it's beyond him he doesn't get it because he just doesn't. Get, he's got other people. That's for that. probably mm -hmm. a good thing. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So we need a Tulsa for dummies for Victor. I don't think that would help. <laughs> Roll for dread. How, 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 exactly. how, yeah, how, it's uh, so easy to understand. Have some dread. Have how, some dread. How, how to Tulsa? Some dread on the house. A, a primer. <laughs> Let me just roll to make sure I don't get dread. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this fine. disc at the at, in in the Tulsa for dummies. It, <laughs> yes it's it's just dread like it's it just, just it just plays sounds that you gives just, you dread you just open it up and just there's two pages it just says dread oh shit <laughs> it comes with an audiobook version but it's written in aclo it comes in stone form that's in relayan oh god um <laughs> anyway at the beginning of the following episode which we, we've gotten the 158 now part mm -hmm. three of curse mm -hmm. of the pharaoh uh victor goes to do his investigation at the scene which he is very good at so he goes into the ruins yes uh, that was a really good role yeah we did establish that victor is a great detective yeah it, i don't even think it was a gnat because <laughs> the, the perception victor's just perception modifier is so high yeah. anyway and i rolled really i got yeah. a 29 uh total so like i literally just saw everything that was in there um yeah that that wasn't like 
writing on the wall I couldn't decipher, but I I knew that it was what I couldn't decipher, so I was able to describe it to mm. to them. And meanwhile, Julian mm. rolls. You know, I think he rolled a nat twenty, mm-hmm. and 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 so he learned everything in the world about all the documents that were uh, in the. I'm tents good at and reading. Um, not writing, you know, but and, reading. <laughs> And, plus, and meanwhile, plus he, uh, Alistair rolled a natural 20 automatically on his nap checks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. His nap checks are, you know, he, he just has a plus 20. Yeah. Um, and if he gets he a just one, got he off the re-roll. boat from sleeping and being scared plus, and stuff. Plus and 20 nap always in the has tent. advantage. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Rounding yes. up. Well, no, he just, he, he's, he's always allowed to re-roll if he rolls a one. Mm. And he's got a plus 20. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> like any, anything anything <laughs> below a 20 is treated as if it were a 20. Richard, you are the space <laughs> marine of sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> that, will make a diff- that will make sense to some people. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah we're, Julian we're saw a little guy watching yeah. him. Nothing um, suspicious about him. His yeah, name's Finley. And, Yes, we asked Janice, yeah, and Janice dope. said, oh, that's Finley. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he went and got him, and then we woke Alistair up. That was his contribution to the episode, as we woke him up. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Yeah>. Yes. F- <laughs> finally, Alistair is going to actually do something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> finally. How is it now? Or Alistair whatever. I, I don't know. You weren't even happy about them waking you up. Oh, no, no, of course not. Like, geez. <laughs> waking you up in the middle of a nap like that? I don't it's just not right. I don't feel like we interrogated <laughs> Finley. We just questioned him, right? I, 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 mean, I like yeah. what it says, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they interrogate Finley. He's just really curious and in, in, innocent and stuff. Honest. I did like get like a hot prodder to like his, you know, his 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 tender bits. I just asked him a bunch of questions. Yeah, but that's an interrogation. And no. Interrogation just has has a strong uh, connotation towards <laughs> was, the negative. Was I, was I, I mean, I just, be, I, I it wasn't torture. Yeah, it was interrogating. I, 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 I want to point out that like police <laughs> do interrogations all the time, and I'm pretty sure they're not legally allowed to use torture I, methods. I will or say, I will touch say tender that bits. I was not applying coercion <laughs> for Finn. <laughs> I didn't say we were. I interrogate and okay. feels like coercion was implied. Okay, okay, Webster, let's find out. Okay, <laughs> you literally just corrected me about not using proper English like twenty I, minutes I, ago. I know because you said, you know, you know. I, I, you, said, I, I, you said less <laughs> instead of fewer. That's what you did. I did. <laughs> Sinner. Um, I'll make fewer <laughs> mistakes. Interrogate. To question formally and systematically. There you go. That seems. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty appropriate. Yeah. Yes. That's what y'all did. Uh huh. Like I said, it has a negative. And then you're like, okay, he's, the deal. Y'all are like, he's legit. Is exactly what I wrote. If that is the case, then I interrogate people all day. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad it's person. It's just a word. Yeah. This, yeah. Well, yeah. Like if if you if you if you're like somebody that works for like a polling agency or something, and you call people to like take polls and stuff technically that's it's kind of an interrogation God, yeah. i mean if you work help desk and ask people a, a, a list oh, of yeah. questions to figure I, out I, what yeah. you're doing i'm a professional interrogator. interrogator yeah you, so you should really have yeah. done this Damn. all along <laughs> <laughs> you can even put that on your business cards now professional, professional interrogator. interrogator i'm sure i'm sure nobody will ever take that the wrong way no, everybody no that works in customer wants. service if you ask the if you ask them questions you're interrogating, you're interrogating them. just have a picture of a row of knives and one of them's got like two drops of blood on it <laughs> <laughs> you got like an ice uh. pick there <laughs> What's the car battery for? Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, that's torture. My partner, Mr. Joshua, uses that. That's, that's... <laughs> okay. Yeah, We're so... not doing torture. <laughs> All right. They didn't torture Finley. They asked him formally and systematically about <laughs> about the um, uh, about the 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 people that were gone or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. yes. And. Um, <laughs> And he tells them about, oh, there's, everyone believes there's a curse in the temple, and that's why people are scared to go in, and they're, they're, your life no sucked away, and someone's going to wake up. No one remembers the Klondike Bar commercial. <laughs> yes, that was, a, that was an integral part of the of, of the. That, that was brought up in Spoiler Channel, too. When, yeah. I, uh, when, I, uh, when I made a reference to Klondike Bar, <laughs> what, what would you, would you do, do for, for Klondike Dilly Bar? bar? No, one, no one got it. No. Um, uh, <laughs> I think I said something about I like Dilly Bars. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that was. 
Alistair was still half asleep. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that like Julian, Victor, and Alistair would know about the Klondike Bar commercials either. No. Or maybe maybe they knew and Finley didn't, and that was part of the interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, what no, would no, you do? No, we we eat Yellowstone bars. We don't have Klondike bars. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had a Klondike bar. Yeah, it's yeah. just like they were before. It's Actually, been less time since I I've had a Dilly bar. I think they're smaller now. Like everything yes, also else. true. Probably for the best. But what I do for a Dilly bar, I drive to the store and buy yeah, it. Buy one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Victor is now a healer thanks to Julian. Julian is yes, best. yeah, Julian Magic Dow. <laughs> does magic healing now it's super cool mm-hmm. um now Dow. victor's the healer mm-hmm. julian passed yeah, it off i, I passed the permanently. torch to you yes yes although you <laughs> pass the torch in the form spells, of the sword right oh, I, you got, I could do heal spells doesn't mean he's going to <laughs> doesn't mean i'm going to <laughs> <laughs> not when he can do gust of wind or lightning bolts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or thunderclap, or, or lightning other... gun. Yeah, or lightning gun in general. Yeah. I mean, I mean, why heal yourself when you can catch an expeditious retreat and just get out of there? Why heal yourself when you can cast uh, uh, poison gas and it not work? Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought it was poison spray. I mean, the poison is it? Oh, hold on. Well, let me look. I, I, yeah, I got the character spray. sheet up right now. Let me just look at it. You still well, have you that use, one? It's an aerosol spray it, that you use. It's a, it's a cancer. If I can't get rid of it. Oh, I didn't yeah. know you couldn't swap cantrips out. Mm, I don't think you can. I I mean, I not like literally under have no normal idea means, I don't think. Yeah, it's, 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 not, I, it's, I, it's not like regular I, spell slots. I played Poison a caster spray. for about three months, and I barely got to use any of the spells I picked because I didn't know what was going on in the campaign, so we didn't need to cross, you know, difficult terrain very <laughs> often. <laughs> I mean, y'all had an airship at that point. Exactly. Mm, lucky bastards. <laughs> Wish I, had an airship. I, I don't think I was aware of the airship I mean, when I designed. I, I the feel character. like in any campaign, by the time you like get to like airship level, I, I feel like cantrips in general kind of have their suited purposes, mm. and and that's about it. Yeah. I've also played like Final maybe Fantasy. maybe a little bit of extra here and there, but <laughs> yeah. the the way that you do deal with them is pretty set in stone at that point. I feel like mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, you meet Sid and Biggs and Wedge at that point. It's really pivotal. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. I mean, always Sid. I mean, janky. Mm-hmm. Traditionally, you you have to deal with Sid to get the airship. Who's Sid? This is fine. It was a Final <laughs> Fantasy joke. Oh, okay. Because Biggs and Wedge were from Star Wars. They're so all really. <laughs> they were. They're. They're also from Final they're Fantasy. Also, too. I, I figured. Well. I figured. Well, they're they're reference to the Star Wars characters. Yeah, yes. I was just trying to figure out how, like, when I was obsessed with Star Wars in middle school, I'd never heard of Sid, the you know X wing pilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come on, cool. man. We got Luke Skywalker. <laughs> we got Big Starlighter. We've got Wedge Antilles, and we've got Sid. Sid. And just Jack Sid. Porkins and <laughs> Porkins. <laughs> I love Porkins. <laughs> Porkins is my favorite. Oh, I'll help here. Okay. Um, uh, Finley uh, shows us around the temple. Uh, totally innocent, not suspicious. No, not at all. Um, you find a cat statue, Alistair. Yes, I mean, obviously, it's the first place you look. Mm-hmm. And what do cats do as Touches soon as they it. have something in their periphery that is currently not being touched? And they're not touch asleep. It? <laughs> obviously, touch it. Come yeah. on. You got to bat it with your paw. That's what it's there for. <laughs> uh, and when he does that, it makes some, some stuff in the room shift. Victor sees the wall shift where it was like a pharaoh or a sphinx thingy with a starry face or something, and mm-hmm. it switched over to something else i can't remember adam do you remember what else what it was or was it not starry and then it became starry or something i'm pretty sure that i heard myself say in character when i was re-listening about an hour or two ago that i said it was stars and then it switched to something else i think like maybe it started as stars and then it switched to like a, a blank face. Blank face, I think is what maybe. it was. Blank yeah, face, there we yeah, go. Maybe. It was yeah, it was stars and then it switched to being blank. Um mm-hmm. and and while we were obsessing over this and talking about it and looking at other things in the wall, we eventually figure out that the little kid's not there anymore. And we're all worried. Yeah. <laughs> Finley's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's just gone. Um the thing came back to get him after it got the rest of the team. Mm-hmm. And then he yeah, started pressing and, buttons again. 
Yeah, Julian went to go look at the wall, and Alistair pressed the button again on the cat, or presses the cat. I forget how it worked, and and it switched switched <laughs> around. Um, yeah, it rotated. It's like flipping the the eyes. And it's like yeah. a Scooby Doo cartoon. Oh yeah, there we go. And then then Julian <laughs> was on the other side of the wall, and he saw Finley Footprints or Young Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, good movie. <laughs> And we all went on the other side of the wall. Victor used his wraps to hit the thingy, to hit the cat to make it flip around so well, he and Alistair could get over there with Julian. Just slurp and, back. Um, and then uh, Victor had a good perception roll so they didn't step on a trap and die. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It yeah it's always good when you don't step on a trap and die. We a lot of traps, per se. Not to say yeah. you should We well, haven't really done a lot in. of like dungeon crawling, really. Mm-hmm. No, it's yeah, I, I felt like this, it was like a King's game. Quest game at this point, and y'all were just like, okay, well, <laughs> does this work? Does this work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we'll just fall into so, it. Like, <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We so, so don't like, fall into traps. Yeah. So in the spirit of King's Quest, after 15 deaths, <laughs> we eventually figured out how to get around the trap. <laughs> <laughs> By throwing, well, well, you threw the the ooze rock on it. Yeah, I put the ooze rock on it to test the pressure plate on the mm. floor, and it immediately obliterated the rock. And so, like, don't step <laughs> on it. <Yeah. laughs> that, I don't. Man, I think that ooze rock's probably gonna get a lot of a lot of play. I think that was it's very vital. We kept that. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. it's destroyed. Well, it's a good thing. This, good thing it's just a dream. Then. Good thing it's just yeah, a dream. Yeah. Good thing it's just a dream. It's true. Um, wasn't worried about losing it, or was I? I didn't know if this dream was going to end up real. Mm-hmm. That's the yeah. thing. Is that we knew it was <laughs> no. a dream. We didn't know if it would somehow affect reality anyway. That's true. Yeah. You know, it could be Adam the matrix like that. Um, yeah. You die in the dream, so, you die in real life. I wouldn't be surprised if he did that. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, we figured out a way over it. So Alistair blasted the wall to make the holes in the wall slightly bigger and then gracefully hippity hopped across. Um, and then, oh, nimble, uh, bimble. and then he used his very strong tail so that we could get over, uh, over the, the, the thing as well and not touch the floor. Mm-hmm. And so we solved the puzzle. And since, and, um, uh, since Alistair is very strong now, uh, I was able to use, um, Alistair to cross as well. Yeah. Cause Alistair mm-hmm. is strong. <laughs> Because Alistair Strong mm-hmm. and yes. Victor could have just ran and jumped the whole time. Okay, well, no one told me that. <laughs> You're a monk. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've never played a monk before now. Prince of, Prince of Persia, that shit, man. Or, or, or You're only level 11. Joe, what, what was his name from Ninja Gaiden? Um, uh, Joe Ninja. Um, it was it Joe Ninja. Ninja uh, Joe? Uh, no, it's a different <laughs> It was Bazooka um, Joe. Bazooka Joe. <laughs> it was Joe Mama. Um, Hayabusa, that's it. Yes. I did it oh, how could you have forgotten? I Because I had been playing Ninja Gaiden in a while. No. I don't think I've ever played Ninja Gaiden, actually. It's fun. I like it. It's very violent. Well, the older ones are. The... Or the sorry, the newer ones are the older ones are like you know original SNES jumping yeah, the little jerk and guy pixel arts <laughs> yeah like like when you look at like the really old games they were among the harder games back oh, then yeah, were. yeah. Why were they it's like ghosts yes. and goblins kind of shit yes <laughs> I've played the first level of that game before mm-hmm. like, oh, it's a of primal us. rage not a lot of us <laughs> have played the second level I've gotten to the third <laughs> level of Battle Toads um, Contra. <laughs> Oh, Contra! Is are are you talking too. about the Turbo Tunnel or the one after the Turbo, the turbo Tunnel? tunnel. Turbo I never tunnel. finished a Turbo Tunnel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I beat up the I beat up the little guys, and then I'd throw things at a at a at a you know little mech or something. Mm-hmm. Then I'd then I'd rappel down a tunnel, uh-huh. or, or like like I'd rappel down a little you know yeah. cavern tube or something, mm-hmm. and kick some birds or dinosaurs or something, and then I would ride a little speedy bike yep. and hit a wall six, seven, eight times and then start the game over. That's how you play battle toads. <laughs> or run out of quarters. <laughs> 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 then but when you get to the third level, you die and then you gotta start over. Yes, exactly. Yeah, which is bullshit. <laughs> but you know they had to make money in arcades. <laughs> um, I had it for NES actually. I wish I had, I had it on Game Boy and it was is terrible. Yeah, I, I mostly I, I mostly played on Game Boy. 
I was right. much better at Tiny Toon Adventures, the game. I remember Tiny oh, Toon Adventures. Oh, I played the fuck out of that. I would I get that. I would get all the way to fucking Maximilian. Oh man, that must and have been he fun. Would kick my ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would get all the but way to But I love to, the music in yeah. the in the in the Hound Haunted Forest. I, I don't think I ever got that far. I was not. Very I good played at video that game. Games I played Tiny Toon Adventures on Game Boy a lot. Oh no, I played I, it I, on Nintendo in NES. Mm-hmm. I had that yeah. on NES as well. I'm a, yeah, but, I had it on Game Boy, and I would. I don't think I ever fully beat that game, but mm-hmm. I would get to the final boss like over and over and over, and have to start all the way over. Uh, yeah, no, I get to about level eight two eight three on the original Super Mario Brothers by taking the warps, and then I die. Never <laughs> won nice. that game. I feel like a loser. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we found Finley in a room. Yeah, he's um, innocent and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and he. Oh no, the, I didn't leave footprints and got over the evil trap because I can just fly with this wand. You had a I wand stole. of fly. <laughs> stole, you know the child. Um, and then uh, Victor's Victor's very suspicious, and he rolled a twenty for insight, and so he just does not trust anything Finley's saying. And then Alistair points out that it's pitch black, so only we should be able to see. Hmm. And and then mm-hmm. and then there's a button. In, if in nothing a else, like Alistair is acutely aware of the shortcomings of humans. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> this is. And he's... there's a button, and and that's where we end off. So mm-hmm. I mean, you're gonna have to tune in, you know, oh, a little bit later I mean, to find out what happens s- when they press the button. I think yeah. I remember what happens when we press the button. Uh-huh. I remember what happens. I remember what happens. happens. I remember what happens before uh, the yeah. button gets pressed. <laughs> yeah, I mean. If you really thought that the button wasn't getting pressed, (laughs) I guess spoiler alert, you know, but, you know, (laughs) Julian does. Like cliffhanger, there's a button. Okay, (laughs) next episode. Okay, so we walk away from the button. that detail, (laughs) I guess. That spoiler is unacceptable. (laughs) Unacceptable conditions. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! I We're need someone to 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 get an image of Finley and then to doctor him up so he looks like lemon grab. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. That hasn't happened yet. No, it needs to, but um, it will eventually. It will. That's, that's it for the year. in January. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, oh yeah, that's right. Well, I didn't we, got, we did have a Christmas special. We did also have a Christmas special. Oh, I didn't. I didn't make any notes for that. You guys are just gonna. That's it was fine, a pretty right? special Christmas special. Mm-hmm. It was. It was pretty special. I completely forgot to make notes for that. Although I don't think I did. <laughs> Sarah other joined Christmas us. Special, so. Yes, Skatesy, also known yes. as Sarah. Yes, yeah, Skatesy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, yeah. Uh, no, a Christmas special. Quick, do we want to do a, a like ever on the the morons to record that? Nah. <laughs> well, I was gonna well, say that's like... kind of late now. Hi. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> wow. What's up? It's like you're was suddenly amazing. here. Oh man, you just you All just of appeared. A sudden, that we, is. We, 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 we were in. like, oh man, I wish you were here, and that, and then you appeared that, out of nowhere. That yeah. <laughs> that is the magic of the holiday season. It's right a Christmas there. miracle. Yes, it was not the magic mm-hmm. of editing. <laughs> it is not the magic of editing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking not about. How that works. Mm-hmm. There's no editing. No, being yeah, done we, no. no. Edit morons. One cut. One cut's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we did a Christmas special again. Again, and this one wasn't done by Man Rose. No, yes. this was a, it's a standalone story. <laughs> and there weren't terrible acts. No, never mind. Sorry, those are still there. <laughs> <laughs> there were only some terrible accents. <laughs> Holding the collar of your shirt there is was not an accent. Yes! <laughs> there, was, there was method acting on half of the crew's behalf. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, sir, uh, you or someone else mentioned it in the comments, but yes. Whilst we were doing our characters, we each had our little acting ticks. <laughs> you, would, uh, Richard, would do the 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 pen as the cigar, mm-hmm. and then I would in the eyebrows, in the eyebrows, yeah. and then I would grab my collar and to speak, you know, uh, prim and properly, like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have any ticks that I'm not aware of? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, you were right. just professional. Yeah, I was cool. Just cool. cool, calm, and collected. Yes. Yeah, that's how good an actor I am. Is didn't that I understand was cool. any of the jokes. No, <laughs> but that was on your character sheet. Yes, <laughs> yes my great. character sheet told me I don't understand jokes. <laughs> so that became and you did a, a wonderful you job play, at you, not you understanding our yes. jokes. The whole time, which was yeah, it was, it was I, pretty I did good. My best. I did my best. That you're, was you're uh, doing I, your best, Drax. 
I think I only broke I, whenever character one I, time. Whenever I offered the story, well, whenever I offered the the, the pre made character sheets to y'all, I didn't realize it was the Marx Brothers. And <laughs> yeah, Carl. like I didn't, I didn't catch and that. Carl. And Carl, Carl Marx, Marx. Until real Carl right. Marx, <laughs> the unknown <laughs> Marx brother. <laughs> Must poor, crush poor, um, capitalism. Oh, that's poor, Lennon. Uh, <laughs> which one did it? Chico, I think, is the one that we didn't use. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so we yeah, didn't use to Chico used, Marx. Yeah. Um, no offense, you're dead, but <laughs> suck it, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's the one that dropped out for a movie or two anyway. Um, he, he was never really much part of the, the comedy side of things. Yeah, so so that it, that made sense. Um so, like, if, if we were going to pick, you know, three of the four Marx Brothers, we picked the three that would be most commonly used in comedy. Well, so. Marx Brothers and Marx Sister. Mm. Well, yes. Right. In, in our story. Yes. In our story. Progressive. <laughs> in our alternate reality. Yes, where the Marx Brothers were <laughs> creatures that eat people. <laughs> oh. we're, we're like, we're like a cross. But also celebrate Christmas. Chico. We're, we're like a cross yes. between the Marx Brothers and the Animaniacs. So, it's mm-hmm. the Marx it Brothers really and was. the Marx yeah. Sister. I did. Pull, yeah. I did pull up Chico's, the Marx Brothers and the Marx Scratch and Sniff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've done this. We've already done this bit before. <laughs> um, Not for these characters. On no. which Animania. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was fitting, though. That yes, was very that, fitting. That, uh, that that that's very good descriptor of the four characters. Mm-hmm. Mm. And and then we proceeded to go on a magical murder adventure yes <laughs> where we did not commit the murders no, no. we did not and we, we just we always know. arrived immediately after we just always are in the wrong place <laughs> we did our we did our best to capture the spirit of the mythos 90s style <laughs> complete yeah. with the crinkle killer the crinkle killer yeah <laughs> yes, the crinkle, the crinkle killer, killer. <laughs> why 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 did you always have so much such a hard time <laughs> pronouncing Kringle. I, I didn't just, understand. Because you're children. I kept, you did it so many times that I messed it up. I kept <laughs> messing it up and then doubling down on myself being yep. wrong. And it was so much better. I, I feel like there was like, like y'all got into, like the children got into like the Christmas spirit, but because y'all were ghouls and you were like children ghouls and you grew up as ghouls and everything there was a little bit of translation like <laughs> missed in there so instead of like we just Chris we Kringle, always misheard crinkle yep. we always misheard kringle that's what yes. it is it's, it's, it's like our own the... bone apple tea yes. yeah. <laughs> that's oh, Lord. silly <laughs> um uh we saved christmas Saved Christmas? We saved just, Christmas. Yes, right? there was so just we, barely. the question I think, mark. Can, yeah, we <laughs> saved Christmas because um because I think uh I think there might be something special for patrons um, oh, yeah. coming up. The, uh, the, the, that, the, that we yeah. recorded uh, the, after we were done. The doomsday um, cut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I kind I kind of wish that we had do, like played through an alternate oh, though, like totally botched it, <laughs> and then yeah. read what what would have oh. happened. No, that's what we do when well, next honestly, year we do the same exact campaign we did last and year. And we just oh. fuck it up. Oh, we just make all the wrong decisions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, that's what our second campaign is going to be, right? We're just going to do the first campaign over again yes. and just do everything the right way this time. Well, yeah, we're going to we just do it again, but we know how everything ends. We're going to we'll play it from yeah. the perspective of the of the B team with uh, Barum and Chandira leading it. Yes, and us just oh, being God. absolutely terrible at our jobs. <laughs> and you're coming across these kids that keep showing up and yes just go away just yeah i i know you have slap wrist the wrist you know i know you have slappers okay just go just it's fine the word is great why Bracelet. does that kid have a cigar <laughs> <Are you tired? laughs> i had i had a long fun day okay um yeah but y'all the the gordo the ghoul he sounded just like the Monster Mash. Did y'all, no one else pick y'all up on that? Y'all suspected him the entire time. I dropped no, so like, many like clues. Uh, I, I mean, I never really suspected him. I didn't. Either. I was too busy trying to think of puns. It's yeah, true. yeah. <laughs> That's all you really 
You were pretty quiet the whole time until yeah, you I, had some like yeah, a joke. I was like, hyper focused. Like, the, like the, just about everything that I said was a joke. Yeah, I was trying to avoid <laughs> confrontation at all times. <laughs> I was just desperately trying not to die. <laughs> Yeah. I was determined yeah. to figure out who the crinkle killer was. The who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a sound. Some of y'all thought that you know, some of y'all thought Gordo the Ghoul was the killer. Um, but he was just like I they gave me a bunch of stuff on him, so I was so like nerd. he was gonna he was just you know, gonna casually talk about betting on dead people. Right. <laughs> You, uh, you know, I, I don't know if anybody else kind of got the same vibe, but for me, like I was kind of getting a bit of an Alfred Hitchcock vibe with the way he was mm-hmm. playing Gordo. Mm. <laughs> I, I wish the, all I could see in my head was Lurch. Like that's Ooh. yeah, that's <laughs> okay. it was like the embodiment of. It's just a monster yeah, mash. I didn't children. even envision anything. It was just you know a graveyard <laughs> smash. But it's Christmas. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's what threw me off. Uh, it sounds like more like a, Halloween the whole time. It sounds like a nightmare <laughs> before Christmas. I mean, we were in a Halloween warehouse multiple times. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Y'all got there too early. The, the, the legally... <laughs> we're too good. We're too efficient. We <laughs> figured out where to go. We were <laughs> ahead of our time. The waste of time. Halloween. Yes. We're good at wasting time. Yes. We're good at mm-hmm. that. Yes, we're great at wasting time. <laughs> I was trying to discover myself as much as trying to discover the mystery. You are trying to find love. I was. I <laughs> on the it. back of an In article all the wrong that places. was read. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe, uh. maybe that's what I, that's that's what a hopefully uh, 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 the ghoul version of a Santa Claus got me at the end was true love. I didn't get it because, you here. know. no. You can't wrap that in a box. Mm. I mean, maybe it was a phone number. Oh. <laughs> so I just gave him a box with a phone number in it. It's like, try this it was, one. It was, it was, it was the, uh, the, the, the personals listing in the newspaper, but one of them is just circled. Like, call yes. this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> and that was not planned. Oh, like, no. the, 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 the listing on the back of the article that that Victor, well, no, oh my God, the Carl. <laughs> Victor, I mean, I mean, the, you, other, the other ghoul. Yes, the other ghoul. I mean, you say the that as ghoul. if we had anything planned at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I, I, that was that was just that was just pretty yeah. brilliant. Mm-hmm. On, yeah. On, on I, 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 I almost called you Julian. Read the. Uh, I did that. read the article verbatim from something he gave me. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you yes. didn't just make that up. I did. <laughs> that was that was that was a, an article. It, I think I even recorded that where i was like i sent it over mm-hmm. yep um, yeah yeah i still can't believe that i messed i i, I pronounced like the russian name perfectly you know for Karl name. marx i feel like that's pretty suiting mm, yeah i have <laughs> yeah. i have no room I will, I will say nothing on the matter of saying people's names correctly <laughs> did you did you do the tradition of botching everybody in I Patreon? I over my. I think I got like one or two <laughs> a little suspect, but everything else is fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, he didn't do very good. I love the 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 parking lot <laughs> scene <laughs> where y'all tried to get to this guy and just confusion, fear, <laughs> um, mayhem. And he's Magic. amazing at slitting people's throats and cutting out their tongues in one he go. He killed them yeah. so um, fast. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this. No, the, no chance. The knife, the knife that they gave me in the in the thing, well, it had a lot of, there's a long list on that magic item. Oh, and it's, it's made for cutting out tongues. <laughs> well, it does it's that so pretty fun. well. <laughs> Wait, was, but but was even it? in the autopsy report, the autopsy report was that that they he, it was all done in like one go. Was, like, was yeah, it like the throat cutting specifically for the one shot, or was it from something? Yes, else? it was for the one okay. shot. It's for the one shot. <laughs> Why you want that dagger? Is that? I it? was about to say. I'm very curious about that dagger. The obsidian blood blade. <laughs> yeah, he's the, gonna look the, it up. On yeah, you. yeah. That's what I called. The god that's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That'll man. keep the oh. pallid mask from talking. There you it's go. The, but it's yeah, the cat got your tongue. <laughs> had, to, mm-hmm. had to cut out those liars' tongues. Oh, see, there you go. So Maybe Alistair could get it mm. and merge Cat's with it. Got your tongue. And there. then you just have like the dagger <laughs> at the end of his tail. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
<laughs> Alistair can make anyone shut up in one swipe. No, right. <laughs> I'm so much danger. <laughs> Please no. Uh. Julian sneaks up on Alistair one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, it was, a, it was a reflex. I didn't mean to cut your tongue out there. I'm sneaking up on you, and you do like the James Bond blow felt chair, just swing around slowly. <laughs> yep. That's that's Julian's epilogue whenever he goes to like pet Alistair. At the yes. End. <laughs> yeah, that um, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mister Cottage, I expect you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got sorry. The, the book only blast. rewinds when you die. <laughs> yeah, you got to Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I, yeah. got to, yeah. I, I got to experience Eldritch Blast. That feel? was a lot of fun. It, it, it wasn't as impressive as Alistair's Eldritch Blast. Because <laughs> Alistair has extras put on it. Yeah. You're also, y'all are also all level one. Yeah. And they gave me shit that was way too hard for y'all <laughs> yes. to fucking fight. Like, geez, yes. like, some I, of the stuff that was going on, it was just like, geez. Like, like I think when you hit, um, when you hit, uh, which was it, um, Zeppo? Mm. Like when you hit Zeppo, like it's like I think that would have one shot any of yes. the rest of us. Yes. Had I not had oh, the yeah. HP that I did, I would have been hella dead. <laughs> I had yeah. very low HP. I'm so glad I didn't get hit by anything. Yeah. And see, I treated all those as like distractions, um, so so the the tongues could be removed, and then, um, well, good yeah. job. Hey guys, how do we stop? <laughs> you the did ritual? it. Oh! <laughs> but you didn't anticipate our resourcefulness at the end. Yeah, you didn't expect me to just try to force feed myself tongues. <laughs> after you, after you didn't what expect happened, me to turn it into a comedy bit. Yeah, after <laughs> what happened into in the mall and in the parking garage, I was about to wipe y'all out. <laughs> yeah, I, I was waiting. Like for I it. was just like, this is gonna this is gonna be the bad ending. <laughs> and, and not today, not today, Satan. <laughs> yeah, no, we do. We, but we, no, I mean, you should. I mean, I was one step away from using that bag of sand. And Pocket you scene. wouldn't have seen it. Yeah. Bag of marbles. I had a bag of marbles that I desperately oh. wanted to do something with and couldn't figure out what to do with them. Oh man, we could have mixed the sand and the marbles. You could have. You could have rolled them on the ground and and yeah, and... we we could have put the sand on the ground and then made a circle and then played marbles. Yes. While the <laughs> Stop playing marbles. You're distracting me. This isn't part of the ritual. <laughs> 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 I'm still not sure. I was like, "Oh, you're here to help." Yeah. Oh, oh, you're here to help. Niall Artho, Niall Artho, Tep sent you to help me. Yes. Yeah, that guy. I'm gonna sure. do that to random strangers Carl, now. I'm just gonna walk on his up feet. to him and be like, "Oh, you're here to help." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Well, that's, that's, that's why Carl didn't hesitate. Oh yes, we are here to help. No problem. Let's go down there <laughs> and yep. help him with his ritual. Man, and I then, love no no oh well, God. oop. <laughs> so oh my so favorite evil guy, and I just want him to come so bad. Just Did, want him to be here. I want him. Where are the tongues? Where are the tongues? Tongue 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 <laughs> I don't. I don't know who's got to listen to it, but. I played the goofiest fucking music I could find that went I with it. I loved it. I, I, I the music it. was great. <laughs> it was great. Yes, I, I listened to it as soon as it released on Patreon, and yeah. I think I like kind of skipped forward through to the, like the last scene. <laughs> it was yeah. just like, oh my god, this music! <laughs> because it, because like it, it just became music. a comedy sketch. All of yes. a sudden, it really yes. did. It was it was really a comedy it like, sketch. It was like some Benny Hill music. Um, it was like I, I don't know. It was like, it was, it was more, it was more like, like, um, like, like almost that. like Christmas polka. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. 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 It was like very Shit. upbeat and like very polka esque. Like, and I, 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 almost, started, I was like, oh my god, this is so much foreshadowing. Uh, Adam, I, I, was, I, was, I was almost right kind now. of thinking, <laughs> yeah, play, yeah, that like, would be I'm, that's I'm, a good uh, that's a good outro outro music bit for this. Let's just play the music. Okay. <laughs> I don't, right. know. I don't know. I was thinking of it as kind of like the music you would hear in like a toy shop or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty similar. 
But like a uh, toy shop in a movie, not a real yes. life toy shop. Right. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So like the little kids yeah, super kids. excited, and the toys are moving around way more than they really would. Like we're yeah. like acting like yeah, the cool Christmas. Uh, yeah, the cool toy stores that don't really exist. Yeah. No. Duncan, well, Duncan's that toy used chest. to exist. Places like yeah, place like F A O Schwartz. Yeah. Are we talking like yeah. Jingle All the Way toy shop? We're talking like big toy shop. <laughs> I see more that like fucking big. everywhere right now, or like Jingle All the Way. I I don't even remember that being that great of a Christmas. I mean, movie. it was an it's, okay it's movie, not, but I, I think see it's a lot of fun. every time I open up my Roku TV, it's being like plastered everywhere. Uh, I mean, it was okay. It was it was a fun watch. Had, like that's it, it, that's about okay, it. So 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 uh, uh, it had uh, Phil Hartman, rest in peace. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, Phil Hartman, Sinbad, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the, the dream best team. cast. You know, you know the, 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 the matchup you've always wanted to see: Arnold Schwarzenegger versus Sinbad. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I thought, that, I thought their their chemistry was really good. Yeah. Was. Oh no no no! Oh, their yeah. chemistry the, was the, great. The, the, <laughs> the famous Belushi, of course, Jim Belushi. <laughs> Jim Belushi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so mean. Yes. <laughs> yes, obviously the Belushi everybody wants. Are you, are you, he's a lot. Are, are you, hey, 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 he's, your brother died. He's done a lot more than I have. A bit like him, you want to be a movie star instead? <laughs> are you trying to tell me? That, <laughs> sit down, Kevin Farley. <laughs> are, are you, <laughs> you don't love and respect K9 as the pinnacle of cinema? <laughs> I don't. Okay. Jim Belushi was very it. good uh, in the Twin Peaks The Return. Yes. I knew Max I used to watch yes a show. I, I mean, his show was all right. Yeah. Oh, was uh, it According uh, to Jim? Yes. According, According to, Jim, to Jim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I used to watch it. Another movie that Jim Belushi and Arnold Schwarzenegger was in, which is a fantastic movie called Red Heat. And uh, uh, Sarah, <laughs> uh, whenever you listen to this morons, <laughs> we got off going. off track so much. <laughs> <laughs> referring I to movies and TV left. shows. <laughs> it is so bad. This is on today. brand for the rest of the the rest of the episode. Oh my god! Yeah, I really expect is. nothing less. <laughs> Adam just, um, just ignored everything Max said. <laughs> Some, sometimes you just kind of got to You got to cut me off, man. I'm on, that, I'm, I'm on that loopy bit that we were on the end of last year's Christmas special. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, a, a new, new, a new. Oh my god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna say new a bunch. Um, no, 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 no. I'm I'm too. I'm. God damn it! He's had he's had beverages <laughs> of the adult, of the variety. adult variety. Yes, I have been drinking beer. Yes. I have been drinking the problem solver. Eleven point five percent. It has been solving all beer. of his problems. I know that beer. The more Adam drinks, and, um, the funnier I am. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. and it's yeah, that was brought up before. Nothing wrong with a couple of road sodas. Um, but it wasn't on the recording. It wasn't. But on it the was recording. on the recording. No. But it's not on the recording. Right. right. Um, Good job, Adam. <laughs> you should. If try. you want, I could chug half of this. Please and meet, no. you, meet you there. Oh, oh God, There no. you go. Yeah, do it. You don't no, want to drink it. No, thank yeah, come you. on, do it. No. If you do, you probably won't like bourbon anymore. Yeah, you exactly. probably no. no. I'm not gonna do what, that. What if you get a level but... up? <laughs> yeah. If I do that, can I level up one more time, real quick? <laughs> You, but you level up in the Christmas special. You don't level up in... Oh, uh, right, that's the only place. It doesn't yeah. count anywhere else. <laughs> then, then yes. be Carl two goes Carl. to level two. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a level two Carl, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I was expecting to kill y'all, and then Harpo decides to pour oil all over everything, <laughs> and what's the other one? Pearl? No. Zippo. Oh, hmm? Zeppo. Zeppo. Me. Zeppo. Oh. <laughs> starts eating the fucking tongues <laughs> <laughs> oily oily tongues yes. oil it's like it and this is not like better this isn't it, canola oil no, it it's not cooking oil. no no it's <laughs> corn oil it's it's like lamp oil it's lamp it was, oil. <laughs> it was lantern oil because i had a lantern also hence <laughs> 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 the method acting gagging noises i was making over yeah recording. that was pretty good that was pretty good <laughs> that was good the the conversation also with um, oh, what was his name? 
shit. What was Reggie? the dude's actual name? Reggie. Yeah, yeah Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. <laughs> After he tried to stab Zeppo, and he was like, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, Spent those out. But no. Spent them out. I was expecting to kill y'all, cut your tongues out, add them to the pile, <laughs> and then and then summon Nyral Arthotep. But. Y'all turned it into a comedy sketch, and you <laughs> burned the dude alive. Well, he deserved it. Yeah, <laughs> you might. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Dis- I, I do like not disagree with you. <laughs> well, um, I was. I was thoroughly convinced though that one of us was going to go down uh, in his yeah. flames well, with. Well, <laughs> well, let, me, let, me, let me try to do it right now. I guess that means our punchline's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's like if if uh, if if Groucho had ended up dying, maybe his his dying line could have been, you know, I always thought I'd die on stage. <laughs> as you no as you burn here. alive. <laughs> the... Yeah, Carl's just off to the side making comments. Like Carl corrects him as he bleeds out. <laughs> There's Super not a stage in this Thanks, warehouse. Buddy. Mm-hmm. I heard him making a killing, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that but was yeah fun. coming of age christmas special where the kids set the bad guy on fire yeah yeah so 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 when, he when, dies. When, if you have children um you can tell them the story about uh four unlikely ghoul heroes that save christmas by burning a man alive yep yes it'll be a new instant classic mm-hmm. yeah. i expect us to get uh residuals from hallmark any minute now <laughs> <laughs> like like any any companies wanting the the uh the movie rights like we're available yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe we can but buy. we don't even own the story because it's yeah. from peterson yeah. games but if peterson that. games wants to you know tweet out our our, our episode or something it is not know? like we know an actor that could star in said movie or anything wink <laughs> yeah it's too bad he could be the he could be the crinkle killer <laughs> The crinkle killer, like crinkle killer, I think he'd make or it could be Gordo. Like, no, it's <laughs> Gordo. 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 It's, no relation. It's, it's it's crinkle killer parentheses crinkle killer. Yeah, <laughs> like as a title Killing card all that them shows crinkles. up at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Mm-hmm. Sarah, thank so, you. For so so glad that you joined us. That. Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes, thank you. No, it was a hoot was it Hmm. was a hoot and a half so so do you think that we should do some comparisons with the the uh the holiday characters Mm, we already did I think, yeah, I think the wacko, kind of did, yeah. the, yeah, the, 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 the warner brothers well, we, and sister well we didn't really say which were which well that's easy the, the groucho's yakko mm-hmm. and the zeppo is wacko mm-hmm. and and harpo is dot and and Carl was Doctor Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Easy. Well, if you want to, if you want to be like that, then <laughs> I almost felt like uh, I, I almost felt like um, uh, Zeppo was more like Prince in that one skit. Mm, oh, that fingering Prince. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fingerprints. Oh, wow, that joke. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you'd be um 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 um. What's the serious bird in the good in the good pigeons? I don't remember. Uh, was Bobby? No, Bobby was the Bobby was the, the, not the, was the happy one. one. Pesto was. Are the you angry saying one. like yeah. the De Niro bird? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We okay. we googled was, this before. Uh, I'm sure. What was his name? I was De Niro <laughs> bird. That was his name. Squint. Squint. His name was Squint. Yeah. Squint. 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 Bob Leota. Yeah. Squint. Leota bird, De-, De Niro bird, and Pesci bird. That's yes. what their yes. names were. Yes. And, and, and Marlon Brando what? was the god pigeon. And Brando bird. <laughs> Brando, and Brando bird. bird. Okay, so so Marlo when bird, I type in De Niro bird from, it gives me all the options except from Animaniacs. It gives me Rio, <laughs> Roblox, TikTok, Up. And dying. Roblox? I don't. I, I, up. Yeah, up with I don't, Ed Asner. I, I, That's I don't know why who De Niro played Cosgrove bird from in Freakazoid, which was amazing. Oh, Freakazoid. Which awesome. was amazing. Yeah. You should go I edit that article Freakazoid. right now. Rip as Ed Asner. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's sad. Mm-hmm. Classic. Classic. <laughs>
No. Oh. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, we had to have the dog back on too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the dog, the dog appeared again. Uh, oh, it was uh, uh, Zeppo's uh, stomach was growling. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes. Yeah, that was our. That was our... My stomach is barking. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I, we have fun uh, here. Uh, I don't have any comparison, head empty, no thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just did one. We did one. We did. <laughs> we one. took a break we from do, our we regular did do one. thing yes. to do the Christmas special instead. To do the Christmas yes. comparisons, mm-hmm. which we did it, and then we did it again. Um, yes. Well, we elaborated on it. Elaborated. We elaborated in case yeah. anyone had any doubt which Warner uh, each of them was. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, Sarah, do you have well, any plugs that you would like to use? for yeah. your thing like nose on the ears yeah <laughs> <laughs> i do have some earplugs um no uh like i said you know for the the christmas episodes um i you can find me on pretty much any social media using skate c s k 8 c uh i'm on twitch currently taking a hiatus cuz i'm in the middle of renovating my house but i'll be back eventually um but yeah otherwise you can find me on instagram twitter facebook which i don't really use yeah. What about your live journal? She's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can come to my house and follow yeah. me around. <laughs> what is what is your page on GeoCities? Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alta Vista. <laughs> <laughs> my MySpace account is probably still lingering oh, around somewhere. Oh, I don't even think about that. <laughs> I never even had one of those. I'm so proud of myself. MySpace was the shit. Yeah, yeah, my you, space was you could better play than Facebook. music on your profile. I don't know if you understand how cool that was. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I with, had with a animated with backgrounds. Yes. To all the web pages. And I you could have like all kinds of extra of effects, like on, on the cursor <laughs> when people were on your page and stuff. Yeah. And you, you were friends do... with Jared. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it was Tom. From Everybody Tom. was friends was with Tom. Tom. Yeah, it was Tom, Tom. not Jared. Jared's the pedophile. Yeah, nobody likes Jared. Um. <laughs> he oh, is. God. Yeah. That, guy is was, true. that guy's a monster. That's not an inaccurate statement. <laughs> he is a monster, oh, yeah. God. I was not yeah. ready for uh, the... But Tom was cool. Yes. Was a... Tom, Tom, Tom was, was everybody's was he from friend. Subway? No, I don't think he was. No. no, no, no. <laughs> Tom was from MySpace. <laughs> I, think he was a, I think he was from Tom's Hardware. I think it was that Tom. <laughs> I maybe they, so. maybe Subway. Tom was just the Tom. creator of MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> but was that the guy who went to the mayor? <laughs> yes. I went to the was, I yes. love that show. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I love uh, just Tim and Eric in general. I like everything. Yeah, let's have do. Tim and Eric. As Some a of the shit's weird though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think Jeez. I don't think I have the social um, maturity and ability and ability if we had Tim and Eric during a guest shot. Like I think Did they. <laughs> no, no, just, like, like, people, like, like they just make me so uncomfortable. Like my skin crawls. Oh. And I'm just like, I don't know how to cope. Help. You, you know what? You know what? If you why, why don't we just skip we that all together and let's just loaf. get John C. Riley? Oh, it's free real estate. Perfect. He seems like he's oh, a oh, cool guy. It's for your health. Yeah, yeah I feel like he's pretty down to earth. <laughs> or, or, yeah, I hope so. Get, I hope um, John C. Rowley's not a jerk. Yeah, or get. I wanted to see him in concert with the with the um, Dewey Cox. Dewey mm-hmm. Cox, yeah, because he actually toured doing oh, the songs awesome. that he did you know, on that movie. We yeah. could get Zach Galifianakis. He does live in North Carolina. It's very true. Mm. I didn't know that. Yes. He yep. lived in, and he's got a beard, so he'll fit in. Uh, mm-hmm. what is, I don't think Matthew Lillard would would do anything. Eh, about that. Actually, probably not. <laughs> no, not. He might if we actually bought his box, yeah, but we're no, not going to do that. Do so. um, <laughs> what if we got Meatloaf to come on? No. Um, and then, and then so he can yell at you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I know. I know us. we're a horror podcast, so, but that's so, a little so too scary. Okay. If we got Meatloaf on, here's what would happen. One. Uh, he would have his video camera on, but not pointing at his face. He'd be pointing at some <laughs> random direction in that room. And he would just be screaming stuff about like what he was seeing. What's the problem? <laughs> I, 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 I don't understand I, why this, why any of this is negative. I could it not <laughs> That's stop. our first video episode of Microphones and Morons right there. <laughs> that, is, that is the sound of madness. That is, that is it. Guest starring Meatloaf as the I, sound of madness. I go back madness. and remaster whenever I'm talking about the violin being played, and it's just Meatloaf <laughs> screaming. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh, meatloaf, we love you. Oh, we so do. You are quite a charmer. Don't come at me in like a dark, dark alley, please. I will piss myself. <laughs> and, and Matthew Lillard, if you actually uh, you looked at the sticker that you put in your pocket and and listened to this show, uh, <laughs> yes, it, he's got all it's episode all, one hundred and sixty. <laughs> it's all jokes. Yeah, it's all it's all jokes. Oh, and we love you. We're calling you out. All, all we have is jokes. Yes, yes. Thirteen That's Ghost all we is like my all time favorite movie. <laughs> Just saying. I, I mean, but yeah, you're I, out of touch on the box thing. Or like Scooby Poo. Uh, <laughs> but boom, <laughs> roasted. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got my fingers I mean, crossed. He, he'll be in in Scream. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, he's done year. an excellent job as Shaggy, <laughs> even so far as being the voice of Shaggy now. Ooh, so wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, no, actually, he's not anymore. Really? Uh, they replaced him and didn't tell him, oh. and he was pretty pissed about I it. Think oh, no, no, no. Just I think it's just for that one thing. I think Richard meant. Uh, the voice of Shaggy Two Dope in the new Insane Clown Posse movie. <laughs> no. I think that's what oh, I mean. oh, oh my God. yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all listened to any of their albums recently, but they're terrible. Are you um, going down with the Dark Carnival? <laughs> I, okay, I was. Not the new shit. Um, I don't know anything about them. It sounds for like a minute. children. They Just did a theme song. Saying for nonsense. WWF. I'm drinking Fago right now. I still like old school, like insane clown posse, but like the new shit is, it sounds terrible. The, the fucking music is terrible. It's, I, and people are probably going to hate me for that, but I don't, I care. don't care. That's, but that's, that's my like, opinion. Yeah, that's, that's every <laughs> band from our childhood, though. That yeah. Also, juggalo. I, I I'll still so, listen to Steven. the old stuff. And I'm going to see their like their homemade backyard wrestling videos. Please upload those to the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, don't. put my or don't. Yeah, take the picture from our website, <laughs> put it on a put it on a thing and and body slam oh, me. God. I don't know. I, I don't we care. do have an art corner. <laughs> we do, in the, that's in the a Discord. Form. Yeah. Yeah. It is an art. I think it's yeah, a form we'll, of we'll, art. We'll, yeah. Hey, body martial s- martial arts are arts, okay? Taking, taking a bump <laughs> is an art form. I will say yes. that much for free. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> he said taking a bump is art. Cocaine? Yeah, I mean, yes. that, if you talk to Ric Flair, yeah, he probably said art. the same thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like how excited Adam got. He was like, cocaine? Okay. No, no, I wasn't <laughs> excited. I was just like, what are you, I have, is that what you're talking you, about? No, a bump is a term for I taking don't do a cocaine in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> or taking oh, a hit of cocaine. Of cocaine. <laughs> I, real quick, before because we're we're on such a ramble train right now. Um, Ric Flair does uh, local air conditioner commercials around us. So I, mm-hmm. I'm just putting oh, that out from there. Does he? Uh, yes, specifically. Yeah. Like I, my my parents told me, like like they saw him like at nightclubs back in the 70s before he, he got. Really oh yeah, yeah. no, he's single, from he's from around yeah, here. Yeah, that's like, why this was his stomping every grounds. single bar and club in like a 50 mile radius. He was just in Charlotte a few weeks ago because they had a WWE event, I think, at Bojangles. Yeah, he's about to get like a Nature race Boy. because Bojangles of the stuff. Bojangles College. Dark Side Probably not yeah. Bojangles. No. <laughs> no, it was, it was just at Bojangles. So here, here, is it, at Bojangles. here is an interesting story about Rick Flair. So I didn't know this because I was, you know, hanging out with my family during the holidays. Apparently, my mom used to live um, with my grandparents off of a really nice house in um, Rivergate which is, you know, a little ways towards South Carolina. Apparently, mm-hmm. back in the day, Ric Flair used to own a house out of there, and apparently it was owned by a lot of different ref- wrestlers. And mm, what like my... The same house? Yeah, the same house. Just different wrestlers oh, owned the house. It was weird. Anyway, um, when Ric Flair did own it, he would get into screaming arguments with one of his wives at the point. Um, I, I don't know which one, because he's had like I don't 20 it. of them. But... It was so loud that my uncle would wake up my mom at night and be like, Ric Flair's here and his wife again. Come over real quick. And they would literally listen to the <laughs> screaming argument through the whole neighborhood. Jeez. <laughs> and, was, and I asked him, was like, did he say woo? Like, you know, as like a punctuation point for what he was trying to say. I feel like that exclamation is too much fun to have in a screaming yes. match with your wife yeah. at 2 in the morning. That's more That's like true. orgasm but, sounds but what's, than what's fighting the, sounds. What's the counter argument to that? You just, that's it. Woo. We're done. <laughs> End of discussion. As, as a matter of fact, you, you know what? 
Ric Flair, if you somehow manage to hear this and you'd like to come on our show, just woo, and I'm sure our mics will pick yeah. you up. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wherever you, you are. You could probably Someone will hear it. woo from outside my apartment complex, and this mic will pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's our next lineup, is a Ric Flair, <laughs> Meat Loaf, and Matthew Lillard. <laughs> Matt Lillard. <laughs> um, all on our podcast. Yes. And Howie Mandel. Howie just Mandel, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as yeah. Bobby. Yes. Oh yeah, as Bobby. Don Chano <laughs> and Gizmo. Oh, oh, I would love Gizmo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All music is written and produced by. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Marco Mazzi, of Fallen Highway Studios, um, and, and uh, possibly some other music if you do actually play that. Oh yeah, Dark bit. Fantasy Studios because we're ending <laughs> it with this song that you're hearing now. I'm sure. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. Steven, if we had a website, what website would we go to? Never mind. Don't say that. Sarah, if we had a website, what website would we go to? Uh, that would be watchbugsdie.com. Yes. See? There she you knows. go. You passed the test. She knows. Or you can visit mikesandmonsters.com as well. That's a good one. Um, and uh, Or if you just like typing, you can use microphones and monsters. Yes. Mm. O-phone. O-phone. A row phone, yeah. row phone, row phone. Excuse me, <laughs> row I always messed that up. Row yeah, phone. you can you can leave the row phone in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. But we don't we don't own rowphone.com, which I think we might need to. <laughs> no, we don't need to own that. <laughs> you need more I links. Just bought, I, I I just bought a new domain, but that's that's a surprise. Ooh, secret. Oh, I wasn't supposed to secret make rowphone.com yet. Do you? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. No. It is not Rofone. <laughs> but if someone wants to buy the domain and send it to Adam, we won't reject it. It's it's the crinkle killer. I mean, I mean, I mean technically, you, you don't even have to send it to us. Yourself. Like, I'm not gonna do like, I don't you, have to you, be involved. Exactly. Like, you can point it to whatever you want. It's your domain. How much is... We love fan no, that, that would be their... I said I wouldn't have to be involved. They would Yeah, be I mean, involved. they can still yeah. point it to our stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if you want to buy Rofone.com and link it to where it automatically redirects, that would be amazing. You should you make want it to, redirect for to it. this episode at this time code. <laughs> right, just to say at this exact com. moment. Just, just so that we can explain exactly why this thing uh, exists. I'm just saying the domain for crinklekiller.io is free. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> <Dot> .io. <laughs> Um, Crinklekiller.com was taken because it's all about eating fries. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's just a crinkle fry mukbang website. Oh, God. <laughs> so, so you watch you, you watch crinkle fry mukbang while you're watching Bugs yes. Die. <laughs> Well, There's ASMR. something for everyone yes. here. Yes. yes. We we obviously know everything about we what are, the people yes. want. We are content creators. We are. These are the things I have to think about to keep myself on my toes. Yes. <clears throat> Those are words that I, I said I, on the internet. I don't know. Do you do ballet? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. He's very majestic. I have several questions. <laughs> How did you see my secret ballet? Are we done with the podcast yet? <laughs> yes, I think we're I think we're done think now. We... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for for helping us grow this this past year. Uh 2021 is is over. 2022 is going to be even bigger. Um lot, lots of cool things coming up. Uh so definitely um tune Keep in. up with that. Yeah. Yes. The what uh Continue listening What'd to the say? show, please. Thank Thanks. you. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, it's it's not over. Season three. It's not over yet, Snake. Still got a couple months of season three, and then season four is going to be later in the year. So. <gasps> Spoilers. Yeah. 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 There's going to be a season four. Gasp. Yes. For me. Yeah, season four will end this campaign. Gasp. What? Double gasp. Double what? gasp. God, I should, I and then we'll start a new though. campaign I, that'll start in 2023 or something. Campaign. Oh boy! And then a whole nother campaign. Yep. Mm-hmm. 2023. Jeez. God. But we got to get through 2022 first. I should so, get better at this so game before then. Tell your friends. <laughs> tell your. Tell your. Tell your mom. Yeah. Tell, tell my your, mom. You haven't yet. Yes. I have. She just doesn't tell listen. You, <laughs> tell the cashier at Food Lion. 
Um, oh, I'm gonna do it. Walmart or buy, whatever. Buy I, I think there's Eagles like up in Illinois, yeah. like Eagles if you, yeah, like yeah, grocery yeah, store. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what you. So I'll get all of the Publix. Um, if someone would cover Hairs Teeter, Piggly Wiggly, Kroger, uh, your local butcher, mm-hmm. food, <laughs> yes. food dog. Mm-hmm. I, I, that's what I call food line, food dog. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Every Starbucks within a 50 mile radius yeah, of you. Yeah, that's where you gotta oh, geez, go. That's gonna Canvas take forever. I'll take the Tim Hortons because I got some people in Canada. We got that covered. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. You got yeah. like West Coast Tim Canada Hortons. covered, I guess. Right. Well, no, there's there's Tim Hortons on the East Coast. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're well, talking about yeah. you're talking about Dietrich. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, and our Belgian listeners, <laughs> our Belgian listeners. Holy fuck! Like we were number four in Belgium what? for science fiction. Shout out to this Belgium month in you our last month of 2021. I just found out today. Um, how am I supposed to learn how to say thank you in Belgian in advance? <laughs> Hold on, if you don't, don't tell me, they, I mean they obviously understand us. Thank you. So you can say thank you. Also, uh, Belgium. Thank also, you. Also, I think how Belgium primarily Belgium. speaks German. I know it's not. That's not the language. Why? I don't need don't a they primarily code? speak Deutsche? I, I, don't know. I think so. German? But oh, they would be in Danke. Flemish. Yeah, it would be uh, Dankeschön. Yeah. Well, that's thank you very much. I wasn't going to go that far. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cool. I'll give you one even better. Donk mil. Okay. I'm not familiar with that one. I've it's like saying thanks German. a million. I really should have. I didn't fail German. I should have. I should have. You should have failed German. Shout, shout out to Hair Brown. For not failing me. <laughs> fun, 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 quick story while we're, while we're, hopefully this outro music is still playing. Um, <laughs> the outro like music has been rolling now. for like 15 minutes. High school. I just put it on repeat. I had a final, final exam I just, I just for German. It. And, 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 and my teacher knew that I just would have failed this thing. He, he had to, because we had, we had a multiple choice and we had an essay. And you did the multiple choice, hand it in, you get the essay. And I hand him my multiple choice, and he hands me a post-it note telling me, in lieu of an essay, please collect all the mice and keyboards from the computers in the room and put them away for me. (laughs) So instead of doing an essay in German, I just got to unplug cords from a computer (laughs) and pass German. Oh, my God. God. Donkey (laughs) Sharon. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Well, cue the Oscar playoff yes. music. Because <laughs> I think we've we've overstayed Goodbye, our welcome here. Right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We love you. Bye. Goodbye. Like Bye. 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 Yep. When this comes out. <laughs> Friday. Friday. Does it come yeah. out on Friday or Saturday? It does. Friday is New it's Year's Eve. Friday. It okay, is coming out on Friday. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right. It's got to come out on Friday. I mean, mm-hmm. if you're hearing this, the then you know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're hearing this right now and you're playing it on Friday, if you wait um, five minutes, it'll be the next year. I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so. I don't think we're done. Just yeah. cut it right there. Just cut it. <laughs> yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.